when I'm talking to the culture uh, in the business environment now, millennials are a great contribution. They're the first generation of employees that didn't have to have anybody tell them how to learn. They could go learn a language, a musical instrument, without anybody helping them because they could go to this thing called the internet. Yeah. And so they're now more committed than ever to living the lifestyle and having the strategies that give them the balance and the freedoms that they want. And because many of them you know, saw their parents make these incredible sacrifices, they're not sure they want to make those big sacrifices. They want to live now. They want to be yeah. present now. I want to, I want to travel now. I don't want to wait 40 years yeah. to retire. And so the companies are now experiencing higher than average turnover. I'm doing a facility in Texas and I'm doing another one in Arizona. And I asked the, the economic development people, tell me about the workplace here. Yeah. And they give me all the great you know, responses. I said, well, tell me about the millennials. And they roll their eyes. There's a high turnover there because if you're not giving them an environment and the tools that they need, well then you're not a very good leader. And they leave until they find what they're looking for. And they're not embarrassed. Are they to, are they finding what they're looking for? Like that's the challenge. Well, I, you look at some of the more um, you know what I mean? well-known companies, the big companies, the Googles, the Amazons. They're in limited cash. Like, they are in limited cash. But it's not about the stuff. money. You did a great facility yeah. here and the culture here isn't about the dollars. Yeah. It's about your heart for leading, giving, and, and serving your team. You have a very nice facility. You, you did a lot of great things. And each way, uh, step along the way, I'd ask you if this was gonna be impacting with your value and your vision. Because remember, we got that from right. you. And then I could play that back and you go, yes, it matters. Or no, it's not relevant. Or yes, I can do it later. So I'm, I'm experiencing in the workplace. So you're in, you're in part of that vision right now. Yeah. Part of that vision you was doing this. A, to a high level right? of outcome, and I'm and, so proud yeah. of this facility. But part of the vision was be able to do this right. type of. And you didn't know you facility. weren't committed to this when we did this part of the business. Not even the podcast, just no. the, the events where we're yeah. here for other people or something. But just think of the more traditional businesses like CPA firms and law firms. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm doing facilities for CPAs that they don't want to have a CPA office. Well, what is that? It's boring. It's vanilla. Correct. It's stale. You know, just because we have pretty chairs in the lunchroom doesn't make it a different culture. Yeah. And so these kids that still want to work in finance, they come out and they look at one facility where they can be in the finance department of a very contemporary, cool company where yeah. there's community and there's collaboration. Yeah. And if we are talking about wanting to make a contribution, you see that Troy and I compete for the, for the, the microphone. The millennials that are like that, they want to contribute. And if you don't create an environment where they can impact the business and they know how, I mean, remember, these are the kids that the parents went to them and said, hey, can you fix the TV? Hey, can you set my new iPhone up? Yeah. Can you do the... And the kids are used to being involved and being respected by their parents. And so Correct. I think that we're seeing a very good dynamic shift in the marketplace. It's going to be a pendulum, and I think it's going to come back a little bit. But it's not just about providing snacks and lunch. It's about providing an environment and a culture where their contribution is welcomed and it doesn't mean you get to choose and pick their all ideas. That's the immature millennial where you're not gonna do what I say, so I don't wanna stay. But I think you're gonna see a, a, a continued movement in the marketplace.